Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferris episode on Horizon 4 with Alan Zero racing a 4 GT against, I think it was a Dodge Dart muscle car. Either way, running down the street, sudden sporting in traffic is not exactly what you want to meet. Now, that doesn't give you much time to try and get out of the way. If you see the car in time, I mean, you might not have the grip to try and deal with that. Either way, the Ford ends up in a house and well, you're not going to be winning that race. You are not going to be winning that race. Bumpy D up next, also on Horizon 4, competing one of the Forza Thorn challenges when things go a little bit awry for the Zonda. Doesn't quite make the jump, fair enough. Gets stuck on the rock face, not exactly unusual. Puts the car into reverse to try and save it, and then becomes magnetised to the wall. That is unusual. That is quite unusual. Also, the car is not going to be uh, going anywhere anytime soon. Strange place to find us on, but there we go. A longboat doing one of the uh, free roam rush events, or when a train wants to get in the way. It's a very, very uh, close call. Well stopped to manage to get that slowed down and avoid the train. A couple of cars plowing into the side. Uh, trains have a, a good habit of being in the right place at the right time, or what, depending on what, what way you look at it. Shadow Rush up next on GTA 5 is trying to deliver a Sterling GT to the warehouse. Said Sterling, however, has other ideas. For no apparent reason, a perfectly fine car has caught fire. No real reason, there's no other players around, didn't hit anything. Just one minute the car was okay, the next minute the car was not okay, and then the minute afterwards the car exploded. It actually took a Grand Marshal out with it as well. It's peculiar. And there we go. Uh, Akbar on F1 2018 having trouble getting into the pit lane at the poor Ricard circuit. Apparently they've installed some speed bumps down here. Turns out not very nice to drive down on a form. I don't think the idea is going to catch on somehow. I don't, I don't think the idea is going to catch on. Very uncomfortable for the Williams. Eventually does pull into its pit stop. Uh, Christy play stuff on Need for Speed Underground 2 up next. Racing around the, uh, the airport area. Now see, many weird and wonderful things go on with the barriers around here. What you don't normally see is slightly turn in too soon and then, oh, you know what, we're going to put you on the infield. Normally there's flying cars or things going out of control or big hits on the barrier, upset stuff. But no, no, just a light brush. A light brush on the barrier, and then you'll end up uh, very not where you're supposed to be. And no way out of that either. A Crazy Whittles on Beam NG Drive, racing one of the light circuits. Now, these can be a little bit fiddly in places. Uh, the, sort of the big rear-wheel drive muscle car, the moonhawk, you can get things quite easily wrong with this. In this particular instance, a little bit too much speed. A little bit too much speed up over the barrier. Tony Hawk will be proud of the grind almost all the way up. Unfortunately, not quite. I was kind of hoping the car was going to grind all the way up and then get stuck uh, <laughs> balancing precariously instead. No, no, we'll just fall off. But it's a good effort. A good effort, nevertheless. We're on to dirt four next with a very violent roll and then very violent stop. Yeah, it's an impressive roll. It doesn't take, it doesn't take much to upset the cars on a, uh, on a dirt game and go for a big tumble. Uh, sometimes you just got to have a good, a good roll, and this Peugeot certainly goes for that. It's a lot of rolls in that, and then stop, dead. Perfectly caught by the tree. Uh, does get does get free. So I think I'll punch a tire at all of that. But there we go. A screaming Pablo on Burnout Paradise is uh, one of their own business. When they come across, as you can see on the right hand side, one of the vehicles they're supposed to take down to win the car. However, however, said car is not where it should be. Very difficult to take down the vehicle when it's well already take. It's in a tree. I don't know why there's a car in a tree. I've played a lot of Burnout Paradise. Never had a car in a tree like that before, that's for sure. Stinty Boy up next on a Metal Gear Solid. Driving a rocket artillery truck. Whatever it is, it's gone to the Ferrari School of Suspension. Because, yes, this is a jelly rocket artillery truck. Uh, initially wobbles around, clonks up a rock. Next corner, it is a proper all the way on its side. The physics has absolutely no idea what to do with the truck, which doesn't surprise me particularly because I doubt they're supposed to be doing that but there we go a uh, brazen miscreant up next on a set of Corsa thinking it would be a good idea to race the airport stairs trucks around Macau now you can have many guesses as to what on earth is going to go wrong with all of this but managing to crash before getting to turn one wasn't the quite the answer that I was going for. Try to squeeze through a gap on the inside, clip the wall, kind of grab the vehicle, turned it round, and then, well, rolled in front of the pack. And finally, Welsh Toast on R Factor, racing Formula One cars. That's the Norris Wearing. It gets an overtake up to third place, perfectly okay. The AIs 
uh, did not deal with it quite so well in all of that. As the Toro Rosso has a big dive up the inside, gets past. The Force India bounces on the curb, loses the back end, and then all sorts of chaos ensues. Williams ends up upside down, takes out a Red Bull as a Toyota trying to dodge all of that mayhem in there as well. Uh, this is further back as the chaos falls, and it doesn't just go on here. So there's a rolled, a rolled uh, BMW, the Toro Rosso, a Red Bull, not sure what livery, uh, has some own issues. It's because the crashing kind of damaging these cars in various ways makes them very difficult to drive. More cars have spun and crashed further back. Toyota's uh, got going again. And uh, as we go and run down here, everyone's trying to fit through this small narrow gap and climbs all over top of each other. And there's another car upside down and on its side. There's a lot of broken cars, basically. There's a lot of broken cars from one car. I think a McLaren climbed its way into the pit. Something climbed its way into the pit lane over the wall. I... <laughs> Formula One cars at the Norris Ring. Dangerous, dangerous place. Dangerous place indeed. But there we go. That is uh, going to be it for this video. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, then you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description of this video. The very top of the page is the Faris Clip Submission section. And in there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. However, that is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.